Today you're going to begin building your digital story project. You've finished creating your content by using your I remember statements to write an autobiographical story which you then use to create your storyboard. Using your storyboard you're going to begin searching for digital images on the web to support your ideas and show your ideas visually in your digital story which is your film that you're making in iMovie. The first step is to open a browser such as Chrome. You'll then go to the top right corner where it says images and click on images. This will default to the Google image search. Here you'll type in a uh, term, a noun or a verb or a combination of the two that is in your storyboard cell. So in this case I'll say North Shore since I use that as an example in class. Okay, so you'll get a screen that will be full of thumbnails. These thumbnails are small low resolution images that show you what your options are after the search returns. Now you need to understand what the word resolution means. In terms of a computer screen or a television screen, resolution means the degree of sharpness of a computer generated image as measured by the number of dots per linear inch in a hard copy printout or the number of pixels across and down on a display screen. So in this case we're talking about pixels. Okay, so we're back at the image search screen uh, in Google Image. As you put your mouse cursor over any of these thumbnails, you'll notice in the bottom left corner, in a bottom darkened row, there's numbers times numbers and the, the URL destination where the image comes from. So this is what we're concerning ourselves with. We want to find high resolution images. For our purposes, high resolution means greater than 600 both in height and width. So in this case this picture wouldn't work very well for us. So what we want to do to make sure that we find high resolution images that are above 600 pixels wide by 600 pixels tall we want to use the search tools. We're going to click on search tools, we're going to go over to size and we're going to filter it by clicking on this word where it says large. Now the only pictures that will be shown to us are pictures that are high resolution. Notice that the numbers now are in the thousands. When you're finding pictures, what I best recommend is to find any pictures greater than 600 in height and width, and I would select images that are landscape orientation, meaning the image itself is wider than it is tall, because that's what's going to fit best on our film. Films are not taller than wide, they're wider than tall landscape orientation. Okay, so this picture will work well for our purposes, but don't make a simple mistake. This is a thumbnail. This is not a high resolution image. Click on the thumbnail, let the high resolution image load, click on that large picture in the darkened area that just opened up, and drag and drop that picture to the desktop. Okay, next, we're, once you've completed finding as many images as you can in the class period, you'll then make sure that you're logged in into the student network. You'll see your two drives. We're going to use the ADID drive. This is the drive that has a name that starts with the first three of your last, first three of your first name, and a two-digit number that's unique to you. Double-click on that, and it'll open a finder window just like this. Now click on that folder here, then click on this little drop down and select new folder. We're going to entitle it art and then press return. So we now have a folder for this class, art. Inside of that folder, see how it's highlighted in blue? We're going to click on this little wheel drop down again, new folder, and we're going to create a folder for this project called digital story. All right. Inside of this digital story folder, see how it's highlighted in blue? You're now going to drag this picture from the desktop and any other pictures that you may have found and drop them into the digital story folder so that you know where to find them. It copies it in here. So that means you can take any that are on the desktop once you see it in your digital story folder. Take those that are on the desktop and drag them to the trash. And you're done for the day. Be sure to log out before you leave the, the computer.